Hello everyone. Welcome to the first project of my Python project course. And uh, the first project of this course will be QR code generator. So for the QR code generation, uh, we will be using uh, Python. And uh, for developing uh, our code, I'll be using uh, Visual Studio code. And uh, for that, what I have done that I have created one Python project uh, folder and I will go inside this folder. I will press right shift of my keyboard and I will press right uh, button of my mouse and then I will get one open PowerShell window here. If you normally right click uh, of your mouse, then you will not get that uh, PowerShell opening option. So just press right shift and then click on uh, right uh, button of your mouse. Then you will get open PowerShell. Okay. So I have go uh, got it on my another uh, screen. So I have uh, dragged it here and when I will uh, write code space dot dot and when I will hit enter uh, it is opening uh, you can see it is opening uh, visual uh, studio code here and uh, it is opening in that folder which folder I have created okay so inside this uh, folder I will right click on this folder and I will uh, create a new file so new file I will create qr code dot pi I'll hit enter so now we are ready to uh, create our uh, Python program for the QR code generation. So before that, uh, I would like to tell you that what is a QR code. If you don't know, so QR is a sort uh, form for quick response. Okay. And they are named so because they can be read quickly by the cell phone. Uh, okay. And now uh, like uh, they are used to uh, take information from transitory media and put it on your cell phone. Uh, and now if you don't know, like uh, what is QR code? So QR code are used to uh, encode and decode the data into machine readable form. Uh, the use of camera phones to read uh, two dimensional barcodes for uh, various purposes is currently a popular topic. Now coming to uh, our project development. So using Python, we can easily uh, create QR codes. So for that, actually we have one uh, model in Python that is PY QR code. So uh, if you have not installed that module, what you can do that uh, you can first uh, install that module by writing pip install uh, py qr code so i will write that also so oh, i have already installed so that's why i will directly import it so for importing it yeah, just write import uh, import uh, and uh, the model name uh, py qr code okay and if you want to install it so i will give you the source code for that also you can uh, directly run it uh, in the terminal so you can write pip install qr code okay so using this uh, line of code in the terminal if you will run this line of the code in the terminal let me show you you can directly uh, install the uh, mm, qr code okay so i will just paste it here pip install qr code uh, sorry, not QR code, PY QR code. Uh, my mistake. It should be PY QR code. Okay. Uh, let me type it here. Okay. And now I will run it. So I have already installed it, but still, uh, if any new version is there, it will. Uh, okay. Pip install QR. Oh, sorry. Uh, it has taken pip install by QR code. Okay now let me install it uh, if it is already installed it will upgrade it okay you can see that requirement already satisfied if you have not installed you can install it by uh, doing uh, doing these uh, methods okay and now what do you have to do that uh, fr from uh, pi qr code there are many functionalities there so we will uh, import uh, qr code okay so from pi qr code we will uh, import import qr code okay so now we have uh, not qe it should be qr qr code and uh, now what we will do that uh, you have to uh, take a string for that uh, you want to uh, generate a qr code so, so nowadays a uh, qr code is generally uh, generated for a, a link okay so basically uh, we have to provide a string uh, for that it will uh, generate a qr code okay so for uh, the string 
you can take any variable you can store it in that uh, so you can we can take like uh, s equal to and inside that you have to give one string okay uh, so let me uh, take so i am taking the link of my skillshare course so suppose uh, i have taken uh, the link of my skillshare channel and uh, for this link i will generate a, i want to generate a qr code okay uh, so what what i will do that uh, i have taken the string okay and uh, now i will show you like how you can generate the qr code so basically what you have to do that you have to store this uh, you have to uh, generate a, a qr code for this link so i will take one more variable url okay and inside the url i will generate the uh, qr code so you have to take pi qr code uh, and after that uh, create uh, you have to uh, generate a qr code so for that i am taking a create function and inside the create function i will give the uh, s string okay so this s string uh, whatever it will contain for that a qr code will be generated uh, generated and now we have to uh, actually print that so printing that qr code what we have to do that uh, we will use uh, svg uh, function okay so url dot svg and uh, after that inside that we have to give that for for what we want to generate uh, for with what name we want to generate this as svg file okay so my skill share dot uh, svg so with this name i want to actually generate uh, my qr code uh, for the string s so i will keep it inside uh, double quotes and after that uh, i will give the um, scale okay so scale will be uh, i will keep a scale as 8 let's see uh, whether it works or not okay so i'm going to run it okay now here you can see that uh, one uh, file has been created my skill shared .spg. so i will go to my project uh, uh, folder here you can see that uh, it has been created and uh, it has been created as a html document so i will open it okay it has opened on the new desktop uh, let me show you Oh, sorry here you can see that uh, this QR code has been generated and the file name you can also see so if I will uh, scan this uh, QR code my page uh, my channel will open uh, which is uh, on a skill share so by this method we can uh, create a QR code for any uh, link here you can see that i have hard coded the value but if you want to take the input and then create a if you want to take the input and then create a, the qr code then what you can do that you can simply remove this okay and after that you can write uh, input and uh, inside the input uh, you can write like uh, enter the url okay and if you will write enter the url first it will take the input and then it will uh, generate the qr code so let's try that option also so let me run this python file okay here it is asking that enter the url so again i will uh, copy the url okay i don't know why it is not being pasted okay here okay uh, so I will actually type the URL, okay? So HTTPS uh, and after that colon slash slash www dot skillshare uh, dot com, okay? This is the URL, and after that uh, my username. So user learn with one projects okay i will hit enter and you can see that um, one uh that mysql share svg has been created okay instead of this you can uh, also take one input and that what what do you want to take the uh, q 
keep the name of your uh, file so you can give that input here okay uh, right now i have hard coded it that's why it is uh, actually creating uh, the mysql spc only okay so by this method you can uh, create the qr code of any of the link so you might have got got the idea that how uh, python do works uh, like in only few line of codes here you can see that we have written only one uh, we have only six line of code, only five line of code and uh, our QR code generation has been completed. If you want to add more functionality, it will hard, hardly take uh, 10 lines and you can uh, dynamically uh, name your uh, QR code also. Okay, so that's it for this video, guys. Uh, we will meet in our next project. Thank you so much.